Now, I suspect that after slugs and snails, the question I'm asked most is the correct way to prune roses. And the truthful answer is there is no correct way. Roses are tough plants. Think of them as a bramble. You can hack them, you can bash them, you can slash them, and they'll just come back for more. But, and there was a but always going to happen, certain roses do need to be pruned at certain times. Now, what we have here are species roses that are adapted to growing in some shade and in relatively poor soil. So here, for example, we have Rosa dupontii. And you know if it's a species rose if it's only got a Latin name. If it's got any kind of English name, even though there's a Latin name as well, then it is not a true species. And a species rose is simply one that grows in the wild. They all invariably have simple flowers. And this, you can see with Dupontii, it's got pretty little, very, very pale pink flowers with a yellow center, perfect for pollinators. And those flowers are flowering on last year's growth which means that if I prune these in spring, there will be no flowers on them. So it's important that I do my pruning immediately after the flowering is finished, which in this case is about now or in a few weeks' time. And when you prune them, go right down to the base. And that will let light and air into the center of the shrub, and that will stimulate new growth, which will start in a week or two, grow for the rest of this summer and may well bear flowers next year. And as well as having what I think are really charming, beautiful flowers, many of them go on to develop into dramatic rose hips. And the hips are truly decorative in autumn. So you don't want to cut off where the flowers have been unless you mind going without the hips. But species roses are meant to look wild, so don't try and constrain and train them.